Hi everyone, welcome back to Magic Bullet. In today's video, we're diving into how to use an ESP32 with a 16x2 LCD display, utilizing the I2C protocol for communication. I'll guide you through the basics of I2C, show you the circuit diagram, explain the code, and demonstrate how to display messages on the LCD. Let's get started. For this project, you'll need an ESP32 board, an LCD, an I2C interface adapter, a breadboard, and jumper wires. Before we dive into the setup, let me give you a brief overview of I2C, or Inter-Integrated Circuit. I2C is a communication protocol commonly used to connect low-speed peripherals to microcontrollers. It operates using two wires, SDA, serial data, and SCL, serial clock. In our setup, the ESP32 will act as the master device, and the LCD display will act as the slave device. This allows for straightforward and efficient communication between the ESP32 and the LCD. Multiple devices can connect to the master, each with a unique address that we need to use for communication. That covers the basics of I2C. Now let's move on to the circuit diagram. First, connect the SCL pin of the LCD to the GPIO22 pin on the ESP32. Next, connect the SDA pin of the LCD to the GPIO21 pin on the ESP32. Finally, connect the VCC and GND pins of the LCD to the 5 volts and ground pins on the ESP32, respectively. Here's the circuit diagram for our setup. I've set up the hardware as shown in the diagram. As you can see, it's very easy to assemble. On the software side, we'll use Platform.io with Visual Studio Code to write and upload our code to the ESP32. Now, let's start with our first project, finding the address of the LCD. This step is crucial because each I2C device has a unique address we need to communicate with. Open Visual Studio Code and launch Platform.io. Create a new project and name it something like I2C Device Scanner. Select your board. I'm using the Doit ESP32 Dev Kit V1 and set the framework to Arduino. Once everything is set, click Finish. After creating the project, open the platformio.ini file and set the monitor speed. Next, navigate to the SRC folder and find the main.cpp file. The complete code is available on my GitHub with the link in the description below. Copy the code, delete the sample code, and paste the new code. Let's walk through the code step by step. First, we include the necessary libraries. Arduino.h is the core library for Arduino functions, and Wire.h provides I2C communication. In the setup function, we initialize the I2C bus with Wire.begin and start serial communication at a baud rate, allowing us to print messages to the serial monitor. In the loop function, we define variables for error status and I2C address. The variable nDevices counts the number of I2C devices found. We initialize end devices to zero. A for loop iterates through all possible I2C addresses from 1 to 126. For each address, wire.begin transmission address starts an I2C transmission, and wire.end transmission ends the transmission and captures the error code. If the error code is zero, it means no error occurred, indicating an I2C device was found at that address. The code prints the address in hexadecimal format. If the error code is 4, it indicates an unknown error at that address. After scanning all addresses, the code checks if any devices were found. If end devices is 0, it means no I2C devices were detected and a message is printed. If devices are found, a message indicating the completion of the scan is printed. This code helps identify the I2C address of connected devices, which is essential for communication between the ESP32 and those devices. Let's upload the code to the ESP32. Connect your ESP32 board to your computer using a USB cable. You might see some random characters on the LCD. Please ignore them. Click the check button at the bottom to build the code. If everything looks good, click the right arrow to upload the code. Once the upload is complete, reset the controller and open the serial monitor. You should see the address of your LCD displayed. Great, 
we've successfully completed the I2C device scanning project. With the LCD address in hand, let's move on to our second project, displaying messages on the LCD. Create a new project and name it ESP32LCD. Select your board and set the framework to Arduino. Once everything is set, click Finish. Next, open this RC folder and find the main.cpp file. The complete code is available on my GitHub, with the link in the description below. Copy the code, delete the sample code, and paste the new code. You may encounter an error saying, include error detected. This happens because we need to add the Liquid Crystal I2C library to our project. To do this, click on the Platform I.O. icon on the sidebar. Select Libraries, then search for Liquid Crystal I2C. Choose the library by Frank de Brabander and add it to your project. Select your project from the drop-down list, I'm selecting ESP32 LCD, and add it. Now open the platformio.ini file and you should see that the Liquid Crystal I2C library has been added. Open the main.cpp file and the error should be resolved. Remember to replace the address in the code with the actual address of your LCD that you found using the previous code. We're using a 16x2 LCD, which means 16 columns and 2 rows. In the setup function, initialize the LCD, preparing it for use. Turn on the LCD backlight to make the display visible. In the loop function, set the cursor position to the first column 0 and first row 0. Print the message, magic bullet, on the first row of the LCD. Introduce a one second delay to keep the message visible for one second. Clear the LCD display. Set the cursor position to the first column 0 and second row 1. Print the message, hello world, on the second row of the LCD. Introduce another one second delay. Clear the LCD display again. This loop continuously displays Magic Bullet and Hello World on the LCD, each for one second, and then clears the display before repeating the process. That's the overview of the code. Let's upload this code to the ESP32 and see it in action. Click the check button at the bottom to build the code. If everything looks good, Click the right arrow to upload the code. As you can see, the messages are displayed on the LCD as expected. That's it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.